Hey, what's up guys? Today I thought we'd go over the URL uh, and dissect the segments and see how that fits into Code Igniter. So initially, uh, this is the base URL. If you had this uploaded to a website, it would be something like example.com. The main controller, remember, gets loaded uh, like previously, so it will be exactly the same as this. So speaking of controllers, the way Code Igniter works is the next segment that gets called is the controller name. So in this case, for us, our default controller is called main. So if we open that up, as you can see, both the class name and the file name match the URL segment. The next portion here is the method. Um, since main is the default controller, index in every single uh, controller is the default method. So we can type in index right here and it will display. So basically what it does, it calls the main controller and it calls index by default. Now, if we were to rename this to something like about, at that portion, if we were to try to reload this, as you can see, it doesn't work. So the method name that we have to call is about in order to dis display that. The next segment is the argument that you want to pass to your method. So for example, if I enter my name right here, as you can see, nothing happens, which means we have to modify a portion of the code right here. So what do we need to do? We need to add a parameter right here, for example, name. And this name is now the argument that gets passed after the method um, segment within the URL. So let's just go ahead and comment this out so that we can get this name. And we'll do just a bar dump name. Now, this is not secure by any means, but if, uh, if that's what you want to just look at, this is what would happen. So as you can see, name of Dino gets passed through. Same thing happens if we try to do uh, another parameter. So every segment after this is a parameter. The way you would do this is you would add different parameters inside this method. And we'll go ahead and see what displays when we do a bar dump on the last name. If we refresh, there we go, Kajik. So like I said, you can keep doing this pretty much indefinitely and just keep adding different parameter um, notation here within the method and you can pass all that information to wherever it needs to go. So that's a quick little introduction to URLs. Uh, there is one other thing that I didn't mention and that is if you have a subdirectory within the controller, but we'll leave that for a different tutorial.